Friday, we're back again. We just left um, Taylor's Island, out of Port Lincoln. Just heading out of the Thorny Passage, going around Cape Catastrophe, and heading around to the west, around the Copland Bay, and then all the way up to Sojourner on the far west coast. There's Memory Cove over there, it's the last uh, safe anchorage when it is southwest, but today we've got an easterly, so it um, wasn't any good last night. But Taylor's was all right, the sun's just coming up, it's, it's going to be the, really well the toughest part of the challenge because the tide's going out and we've got a swell coming in. It's this a while in there, just where the sun's coming up, it's a bit hard to see. So we're just doing a slow motor sail out of the reef main and um, stay so out. The motor's just ticking over and I'm doing six knots. Just, the tide's just starting to uh, ebb out now and um, getting a bit of probably about a knot speed out of the tide. This is Cape Catastrophe where Matthew Finn has lost his uh, crew out of a long boat. We never found a trace of them back when they were exploring all this golf, looking for a city, a place to build a city, which ended up being Adelaide. So they didn't find enough water sources over here, and Adelaide had they found the Murray River. So it's um, a new story there. I think there's about 12 guys, and all the other islands around here are named after some of the guys off the island, off the long boat that we're using. Alrighty, we're just coming up to Point of Void, but we won't be going in there on this this trip. I'm going to keep going right through to Sir Isaac's, which is on the uh, Coffin Bay National Park, right down on the tip there. And uh, yeah, we'll spend the night there and then head over to Gallipoli Beach. It's pretty average coming out of Thorny Passage there, the tide coming out and the, and the swell. It's about a uh, Two to three meters swell today, and um, yeah, it's settled down now. We're doing a full goose ring, and um, yeah, crew's gone down a bit crook, so it's having a sleep. And uh, yeah, that's about it for now. We'll uh, get some more footage when we get into Sir Isaac's tonight. Alrighty, we've just joined the mainsail and we're just cruising along the most southern tip of Coffin Bay National Park. We've still got the jib on a bit of a pole, the head sail on a bit of a pole there. It's not going to last much longer, we're going to do one more turn once we get up to this next point. It's probably a bit hard to see, but pretty barren. This all the way along the bottom here. I'm going to go into Sir Isaac's and to a little bay called Seasick Bay. We won't tell the crew that though. Nah, it's, that's where you take people when they've been seasick. <laughs> Alright, we'll give you an update when we're in there on New Year's Eve. So this is uh, twice I've been over to the west coast in uh, 2023. Pretty good achievement. Anyway, tomorrow will be another year. Alrighty, we've arrived at Sir, Sir Isaac's Seasick Bay. Beautiful sheltered bay, clear water, Coffin Bay in the 
in the distance there. And we'll go over there probably tomorrow, over to Gallipoli Beach, where they uh, filmed the movie Gallipoli. And, um, yeah, just tonight. So it took us uh, 12 hours to do about 70 nautical miles. Beam reaching all the way, just about. It's pretty pleasant. Uh, yeah, she's still about uh, 15 to 20 knot south easterly. No, certainly a um, good breeze and uh, quite chilly. It's, uh, 24 degrees in Coffin Bay today. But, uh, it's probably in the 20s or less while oh, we're sailing with the wind behind us. All right, well, that's about uh, Port, uh, Taylor's Island to Coffin Bay. And we'll see if we can put something together tomorrow on our way over to Mount Jewett and uh, Farm Beach, Gallipoli, Gallipoli Beach. So you're on the um, eastern side there of the bay. And, yep, we're on the west coast now. So here we are coming into Hill Bay. Got some campers up in the dunes. We've got this beautiful basalt breakwater in here. Come in left to that rock and shelter in behind this little natural breakwater. This is Deb talking to you, coming all the way from Melbourne. My oh goodness, come up here to spend a couple of weeks with Matt off the west coast. Here he is in the cockpit, doing his thing. Have a look at me. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how you doing? It's warmed up a little bit. It's just slightly warmer than freezing. Bearable now to have my socks off, which I've had on for two days. Here we are. Got a bit of a swell coming in here. These breaks I'm just going to ease that up, make our anchorage nice and comfortable. Saw some cray pots around here earlier. I just want to avoid those. Avoid the rocks as part of the reef. Gorgeous day. Hi there, I'm Deb, I'm here with Matt. Uh, we're coming into Hall Bay, Hill Bay, not quite sure there. Um, after a couple of hours of motor sailing, just avoid coming in behind this breakwater here, avoiding the rocks, avoiding the cray pots, trying to get some shelter from the swell. Not a huge swell, but a small one coming in here today couple of hours sailing and I don't know, four and a half knots of wind. It's been a little bit tricky to have the sails up all the way. Here we are, heading up the Western Air Peninsula.
find ourselves nestled in here between the land that you can see there ahead of us. These rocks in front of us. Nestled in there. Beautiful little sheltered breakwater. Got some people camped up on the cliffs. Looks like a few kids running around on the beach. Might avoid them. Just nestle ourselves in here where it's nice and calm. Beautiful little sheltered spot. The weather now is a bit warmer than before. This is nice. Canvas out on the cliffs there. Our spot here in um, Paul Bay. Put anchor down any second now. Get some campers up there on the beach. Nestled in here behind some rocks. The air temperature is a lot warmer than when we set out a couple of days ago. Campers up there on the cliffs. Some nice sandy bottoms, perhaps we will be finding some white. See that? Beautiful sandy bottoms, a bit of weed. Gorgeous day. Go facing into the wind now.
happy with your spot, Matt? You happy with your spot? And that's us for the night. To a nice beach and set up for a southeasty, southeasterly wind direction. This is prominently the direction we've had, and with what's forecast for the next three or four days, so it'd be pretty comfortable around on the northern tip. Bit sandy beach there, and probably nobody in sight. We've got odd abalone boats go past, yeah, so this is Fingers Island. Give you another update when I get around this corner here and drop the anchor. I don't know if you can see these here in the distance, but there's dolphins frolicking, which is beautiful. I'll come back to them as I get closer, but check this out. Look at this beautiful day. Here on the northern end of Flinders Island, there's Sille, this gorgeous, gorgeous beach. Stunning. Let's see if these dolphins are getting any closer. I think they're seals, not dolphins, now that I get closer. They are having a good old frolic. Hello. Um, the seals are beautiful. I've shown my seals before. It's a bit cold to jump in with them now, but I'll see if I can get some underwater footage. I turn it on, they stop. Where have they gone? There. Yeah. Oh, 
been spotted. We've been spotted. Hello. Hello, seal. <laughs> We've so been spotted. I hope this doesn't frighten them away. Yeah, they're going away. Damn. <laughs> they were having a good old time though. <laughs> Let's see if I can walk a bit faster. Whoa, that was a good one. Hello, hello. So this is Matt's GoPro. I don't know if it needs another housing to be waterproof. I haven't got time to ask, so I'm just gonna forego the footage. Looks like we've been spotted and they're taken off anyway. I wanna sit here for a while longer, see what happens. Alrighty, we're just in the northern northern tip of Flinders Island. A strong wind mornings just kicked in. Today we've got blue skies today. Yesterday it was raining. And um tomorrow we're gonna head to Scale Bay, which is pretty well a beam reach all the way there. About a twenty to thirty nautical mile passage. And after that we'll head over to Streaky Bay. Oh yeah, beautiful, uh, sunny, sheltered bay here. This reef, this little spot here, I sort of found using Google Maps. There's not much information on this area in uh, local logs and books and stuff. So there's a few reefs around, which are pretty nasty if you don't keep your eyes out for them. And there's one on the um, eastern side. Just over here that breaks a bit um, at low tide. There's some cl cluster of rocks out there as well, but uh, just not far from me, about 100 metres, it's all reef in there. Yeah, anyway, we'll give you another update when we get to um, Scale Bay or maybe while we're sailing tomorrow. Alrighty, we've left Flinders Island at 7 o'clock this morning. The sun's just coming up. Get the pole out on the goose wing again. About 15 knots of breeze. I'm doing about 6 knots. Quite pleasant now. Dead, just about dead square. And um, the conditions are much better than they have been. On our journey to Flinders Island. But uh, yeah, we've had a lovely two days, just really relaxing and catching up on a few jobs. What did you think about that, Deb? There's a sun in you. <laughs> had a lovely time. Lovely time. Snap. Had a walk on the beach yesterday, as we've all seen, probably. Some seals. Seals, and a few dolphins. The fishing was a little bit quiet, but we still have managed to have a seafood and um, whiting and squid dinner. A bit of salad. So yeah, we're off to Scale Bay today, just for an overnighter, and then we'll uh, tomorrow we'll head around to Streaky and have a few days in Streaky. All right, we'll give you an update again when we get to Scale Bay tonight. It's a low morning glory. 
Alrighty, we just got one from the school line go through. Managed to just get the main sail down in time. And we've got another little one coming shortly. But it doesn't look like it's as severe. Been watching that one build up. A bit hard to see. Dingy there. That's what you gotta look out for. Black rolling lines. Alrighty, we've arrived at Scale Bay. It's a good 25 knots. Winds gusts up to 30 coming coming in. We've got a, now we've got a thunderstorm over the the top of us. Uh, it should be pretty safe in here from the southeast to southwesterly forecast, but when you get a thunderstorm, sometimes you can get a west or a northwest wind change, which wouldn't be the nicest, but um, let's deal with that if that does happen through the night. Nowhere actually else to go, and you don't really want to pull the anchor up. 30 knots of northerly anyway, so especially if it's unsheltered, so I'll probably just have to run the motor and take the weight off of the chain, so it could be a long night. If that happens, we'll get some lightning all around us now. So I'm going to go and turn some electrical device, devices off, and uh, we'll give you another update tomorrow on our way to Streaky. Alrighty. Just rounded the corner there, it's called uh, Whistling Rocks. And, uh, now we're just heading uh, in more of an easterly direction up into Streaky Bay. We'll make her up in a couple of days. Dolphins around this morning, very light breeze, loaded most of the way from Scale Bay. Yeah, it's supposed to be another storm this afternoon and uh, we the coming later in the week. But that's about it to do something Alrighty, we're just motoring into Streaky Bay. The town centre's just ahead of us. Hardly any wind. Just doing about six knots under motor. All the sails are packed away and the, the boat performed really well. Not a really long passage, about uh, 250 nautical miles, I think. All up from. Uh, Port Lincoln to Streaky Bay. That's the first leg of this passage and uh, we'll do an, another video of the next passage possibly to Stuna and beyond. The plan was actually to go to Tasmania from back pick up another crew and then head to Tasmania the west coast up here um, but now I've, I'm starting to toy up about going across the Great Australian Bight to Albany and Esperance and then spending some time in Perth and around that area and then uh, head up north once the cyclone season ends but we'll keep you updated with that one in the, in the future. Alright, we'll see you on the flip side. All right, we're anchored out the front of Streaky Bay now. That's where I'm going to stay for the next few days. This is the last video off the Port Lincoln to Streaky Bay trip. Had a pretty pleasant night. The wind's gone southwest now and it's actually a lot cooler. It's only 23 degrees maximum today. And then 
Uh, yesterday was from about 28, maybe 30 when we come in. We got True North to come in last night. And uh, I was muck, mucking around to the AIS and I had set the alarm. I could see it on marine traffic coming and I fell asleep and apparently the alarm went off. I didn't even hear it. It only activated it when it got around the corner from the point there because the line of sight wasn't, um, there wasn't any line of sight for the receiver. And uh, yeah, once it got around the corner and there was line of sight from the VHF, the alarm went off and the crew happily turned it off and I didn't even know that it was in. So yeah, this is it here, the jetty's there and then the main street, basically across the road. And you got the pub and IGA and Foodland and all that sort of stuff up there and restaurants and it's very busy at this time of the year as well. Probably the next couple of months, caravans coming and going, and tourists. But yeah, out here at Anchor, it's very pleasant. Alrighty, we'll start our next uh, next YouTube video uh, the trip from um, Streaky Bay to Sejuna. We'll do uh, a few islands on the way out there and um, and beyond. All right, well we'll see you then.